Hi, this is Butch Zemar, and uh, this is video two of the seven-part series of the seven biggest mistakes that people make when they buy their own health insurance. This one's about um, coinsurance. I call it a hidden deductible. Uh, the hidden deductible or coinsurance is basically the amount of exposure in that 80-20, the 90-10, 70-30 that people just don't uh, c calculate when they look at their options when they're shopping for the health insurance. So unfortunately, people look at the, the low deductibles that are available out there and they say it's 80-20 but it's cheaper than this other plan that might be at uh, you know a different deductible or same deductible. Well, they don't realize that the, the coinsurance is what they call a stop loss. Most cases, you should always have a stop loss. You shouldn't have 80-20 unlimited. So what you should do is look at what your out-of-pocket expenses is. So if you have a $500 deductible, you may have a $3,000 out-of-pocket plus your deductible. So you have $3,500 total if something were to occur. Well, if you flip things around a little bit, maybe go with a $1,000 deductible, and let's just say maybe even a $1,500 deductible, and you go with a plan that has a $2,000 out-of-pocket versus the $3,000, your exposure is still $3,500 out-of-pocket, just as the $500 deductible plus the $3,000 out-of-pocket. So now, but the premiums are going to ha are going to be drastically different. You could save as easy forty dollars, fifty dollars a month just to that, and your exposure is exactly the same. It doesn't matter if the insurance company starts kicking in at five hundred dollars or at fifteen hundred after fifteen hundred dollars, because ultimately, at the end of the day, when something occurs, you are ultimately going to be responsible for that money. So. Why pay more money to an insurance company for the same exact exposure? You could flip it around and do other things. Most people go to the doctor for a lot of little things uh, instead of going to the emergency room. Uh, I would hope so because it's expensive going there, and people know that. And maybe that's one reason why they focus on low deductibles. But um, but anyhow, the exposure you're looking at for the coinsurance could actually add up to a lot over a period of time. Not only an additional cost um, in, at the time of claim, um, but also premiums over uh, down the road. The additional out-of-pocket or additional premiums that you're saving, let's say even if it's 50 bucks a month, over a course of year that's $600. I'm sure you could find something better to use that $600 for. So, um, so in a nutshell, be careful your out-of-pocket exposure in addition to the deductible, and you might actually save monthly premiums if you calculate accordingly and have same out-of-pocket exposure, but just by changing things around a little bit. So, I hope this helped.